Say hi to the camera. Look, 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 look. Say hi. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon, just in case you don't know. If you're new to my channel, welcome. It's always nice to see new people visiting my channel, and hopefully you will stay. Today I'm going to be showing you how to color your hair using the Garnier Nutrice Ultra Color in the color Tempting Raspberry. So this is what it looks like, and I'm super excited because your hair, you can take your hair from this color right here, if you guys can see that, a dark brown to this color without bleaching it or anything. This is what this hair color is supposed to do. So I'm really excited because I've always wanted really vibrant red hair like this. So I'm praying to God it works. And if you guys are interested in watching me color my hair and see how it turns out, then just stick around. Okay, you guys, so 48 hours before you color your hair, make sure you do an allergy test, like say on the back of your neck or something like that, to make sure that you're not allergic to any of the ingredients that are in this product. That's number one, first and foremost, important thing to do. Um, so basically, I've colored my hair for years. I know how to do it. I don't use a brush. I just use the squeezy bottle and the gloves and everything. So I'll show you what comes in the box. First of all, this is what the box looks like. It is number 462, and it's called Tempting Raspberry. It's sexy. I love this color. Okay, so I'll show you guys what comes inside the box. First you have your instruction sheet, which you should definitely read, which I already did, because you can see, also make sure your box is sealed. There's a little sticker, there was a little sticker here that I had to use the scissors to cut open. Make sure it's sealed, because you don't want a product that's been tampered with. Also the instruction sheet had stickers on it as well, because there's gloves inside there. So make sure you just snip the plastic off so you don't rip the instruction sheet. And then inside there, you'll have a pair of gloves. Okay, and like I said, just make sure you read the instructions. The developing time for this product is 25 minutes, but if you have grays, like I do have a few grays, like right in my temple, just a few. So I will leave it on for the full 35 minutes. But if you don't have any grease whatsoever, the developing time for this product is 25 minutes. So having said all that about the products, let me show you what comes inside. If you've colored your hair before, you can probably already imagine what comes inside. And this is the cream developer. And this is the color that you put into the cream developer. And then they give you a tube of uh, rich nourishing conditioning cream. So this, after you color your hair, you go in the shower, you add some water to your hair and you lather it through your whole head and you're supposed to rinse it until the water runs clear, which I do, but I usually also use a color safe shampoo just to make sure that I get all like the residue off my scalp. You don't have to do that. It doesn't say that on the box, but I always do that. And then you put this in your hair and you leave it in for two minutes and then make sure you rinse it out thoroughly and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and mix this up. I usually twist the top off. I don't twist this little piece off until I put the color in the developer. Let's make sure it's the right one. It says 462 on the back. Make sure it's correct. And then you just take your lid off, flip it upside down, and pierce the, the little seal inside. And then squeeze it into the developer. This is what I'm doing. I'm just squeezing it into the developer. And then I just use the box to get rid of the trash. So then I usually just put my finger on the end here and shake it up really well. Okay, so before you color your hair, you're going to want to put Vaseline around your hairline. Okay. 
Okay, so let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to probably just do the first row or two and then I'm going to speed up the video so you guys don't have to watch me go row by row. <laughs> that can get pretty tedious. Okay, so I'm just going to start with my natural part. And it's pink, that's cool. And I just put it like this and I press it into the hair. It does pretty much the same thing as a brush. Okay, so when you take your gloves off, I already started to take this one off, but you just put your finger underneath here and put it inside out and then throw it in the box. This is where I put it all. And then if you want to, you don't have to because, well, if you have the Vaseline, you don't have to, but you can clean up the edges with a, like a baby wipe or a makeup wipe. This is a makeup wipe. This one got a little too close to my eye. So if that happens, you wanna make sure you definitely wipe that away. So that's it. I'm gonna wait 35 minutes and then I will wash it out and style my hair and everything and I will come back and show you the finished product. Let's cross our fingers that it comes out looking like this. See you soon. Okay guys, so I went and had my shower and I rinsed out the hair color and I blow dried it and did my makeup and everything. If you're wondering, I did do a tutorial on this eye look right here. So if you wanna see that, that will be posted on Friday. Um, I'm gonna run my fingers through my hair and show you what the color looks like. First of all, it doesn't really look like on the box. I know that after washing my hair probably about three times, it will get more vibrant, but this is what the hair color looks like after doing it. You guys saw my hair color in the beginning, what it looked like. It's really pretty. My hair feels really healthy. It's really shiny. I love the color. I just wish it would have come out a little bit brighter, but like I said, after washing it probably about three times, it will probably come out even brighter than this. Maybe not quite as bright as this but it will be brighter. I'm happy with it. Um, you know, you can't expect it to look exactly like the box because it all depends on your hair, the texture, how well it absorbs color, et cetera, et cetera. So it just depends on the individual's hair and my hair happens to absorb it this way. As you can see, my regrowth was lighter than the rest of my hair. So this ended up being a little bit more vibrant in the roots. But yeah, it smells really good. It feels really healthy. It's nice and shiny. I like it. It was only $9.99 at my local Shoppers Drug Mart here in Canada. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.